Let's talk about the communication in Valwender between artists and Valwender Wranglers. Okay, the first way to communicate is to add in information for everyone. For example, farmers done at five o'clock and it will be added to control and the submitter. Uh, they might not see it. Okay. Uh, Make it wet. Uh, perhaps we need some other background color. Yeah, I think they should see that now. Next is communication about jobs. Of course, it all starts with the submission. There's the user information. That's a heavy scene. And once I select it, you can see it is shown in our control within the job information. It's a job setting just like any other job setting. Next way to communicate are the approval checkboxes. There's a custom step which has no effect on the job whatsoever. There are other approvals as well, for example, all frames, cloud and preview. If you don't use the settings that it requires approval after preview render for all for after all frames or for the cloud, these checkboxes have no effect whatsoever on the job. It's just a checkbox you can use. The next way to communicate is use the comment. I can add a comment. As you can see, it's shown in the job information table and it shows an eye icon in yellow in the table. So the other user can directly see that I've added a comment. Next is to communicate with the images. For example, this one. Dog. <laughs> this too. This information is saved within the job. On the next update, everyone will see the information in the image. If I'm not sure if he sees it, I can just copy the image and paste it into some email. If I fixed it, I can just clear it and on the next job update, oh, the information is gone again. Okay, next case, I meet someone at lunch and he tells me, yeah, please take a look at my jobs. I'm back at my desk and yeah, his name was some French Clouseau. I don't know. If I just add CL, I might get a lot of other scenes. So I just search within the usernames and there it is. So I see all his jobs and clear it again. The next important way to communicate is to tell someone exactly, please take a look at this job. Internally, these jobs have a very long ID and I cannot spell this ID over phone or shout it across the room. And even more complicated, if I'm working via a remote session in a company that has no other internet connection besides the remote, I'm not able to write any email. I'm not allowed to copy paste anything out of the remote session onto my machine to add it into the email. And that's why Warwanda has these short IDs. So if you cannot copy paste the ID, just write it down. All right, please check. And then TQ3 plus. You don't have to care about upper and lower case. It doesn't matter in Warwanda. And on the other side, on the receiver side, I can just 
and that the brackets are not required if the ID does not accidentally match a scene name. If I'm able to copy paste the ID, then can just right click on the first column and copy the short ID. If I want to send to multiple jobs, I just copy the short ID. This will look like this. Please note the small OR, which tells all render to use the OR or any filter. So it does not have to match all of these IDs within job, which is not possible. A job has to match any of these IDs. And as you can see, yep, there are these jobs. If I'm currently working on someone else jobs and I paste the IDs, then well, when I will ask me if I want to change the filter, that I will be able to see all jobs. If I want to take a look at, for example, the jobs of this user, I can use the pick button and clear the filter, and then I can see all jobs of that user. I can filter for this project and see all jobs of that project. Of course, it's possible to send messages within Wallrend as well. You can send messages to clients. So if a client is running on a machine, you can send a message to that machine. For example, this job was submitted from Elliot and there's a message button. I can just send a message to that machine. It automatically adds the ID. Or I can right click on the machine. I will select some jobs. Copy the ID and send the message to that machine. I can take a look at the user who's currently logged in. The message will be sent to the server. If the client is running, it will be sent to the client. And if someone is logged in, it will be shown for the logged in user. If the client is offline, the server just keeps the messages until the client is online. If the user is locked off, same, the client will keep it until the user logs in again. If I don't realize that there's a message and I just shut down machine, if I lock off, if someone else shut down my machine, it doesn't matter. The next time the client will display it until I click the delete messages and close button. I can reply to the person or I can click on the ID. This will send an information to our control and I can see how these jobs are now in the filter. So delete messages. Of course, it's possible that different persons send different messages at different times. This information will be added. I can now click on one job ID and our control selects this job ID. Or I can just click on all IDs and our control adds them all. Again, I can reply to the person. These ID links work within the client as well. So if my machine is rendering, I can click on the job ID. It will be sent to our control and I can see which job is currently rendering on my machine. So these have been the ways to communicate between artists or artists and render wranglers and happy rendering.